A special helicopter flyover this afternoon at the end of the memorial service for the Duke Life Flight crew and patient killed this month in a crash. CBS North Carolina's Derek Lewis attended today's memorial service and joins us now live from Durham. Derek. Sharon laughs and cries inside Duke University Chapel today as family, friends, and colleagues remembered the four who lost their lives during that helicopter crash. And I will hold on tight. More than a thousand people filled Duke University Chapel this afternoon to remember Duke like flight members Chris Harrison, Crystal Solinger, pilot Jeff Burke, and patient Mary Barlett. The absence of Chris, Crystal, Jeff, and Mary has been profoundly felt by our entire community and most importantly, their loved ones. The four lost their lives in a helicopter crash on September 8th while flying from Elizabeth City to Duke University Hospital. According to the preliminary report released Tuesday by the National Transportation Safety Board, several witnesses say they saw smoke trailing the helicopter while it was still in flight. We have not only lost friends and colleagues, we have lost family. And together, we will learn how to move on. Outside, several helicopters flew over the chapel to honor the team that died while working to save others. Duke University Hospital President Kevin Sowers says the loss has impacted the entire hospital team. When you lose that, a team uh, and people that you've been in the back of the copter with, um, it has a significant impact on how you feel not only about their loss, but how you feel as a team. While Sowers says moving on won't be easy, members of the Duke Life Flight team know there's still more work to do. They would want our Life Flight team to move forward. And carry on on the missions, the next patient transport, and to take care of each other. Now, right now, Duke Life Flight helicopters are not up and running, but President Sowers says he has no concerns about putting them back up in the air. I'll let you know when that will be and what has to happen before that point. Live in Durham, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS North Carolina. Thank you.